This is me in February 2023. Cute, right? She's cute, but Shancy had a problem. I had this nondescript sunspot on my back. No big deal. This is a picture of me in February 2024. That's a year later. And we're looking at this mole. But this picture was only taken because I was looking at some laser that I had done on uh, just some sunspots here. Wasn't really focused or paying attention to this big guy. This is me last week, a week ago. Trigger warning. I'm warning you now. There's staples. There's a lot of incisions. This is not for everybody. Um, but I just want to show you how things just spiraled. Okay, that's enough. <laughs> um, essentially, I was diagnosed with stage one cancer melanoma. It's hard to say it. I don't resonate with that word. It's like, how did we get here? I'll tell you how we got here. Actually, thanks to TikTok, I discovered what a basal cell carcinoma was. And I was actually concerned with one that I had right here. And so if you don't know what it is, a basal cell carcinoma is like a precancerous uh, cell or lesion. It sometimes acts like a pimple. It has like a little crust on it. And when you scratch it, it would bleed. It kind of hurts or it itches. Um, it can go away and then it can come back. That's what mine was doing. It was going away and it was coming back. I put retinol on it, like everything. Nothing was getting to it. So I watched a TikTok and I was like, hmm, I think I might have this. So thankfully I have a GP. I live in Canada. Um, I booked an appointment. They took me in right away. And so because I was there for like skin cancer, you know, possible skin cancer lesions, my doctor did a, a full scan. Then um, we also noticed that I had like a mole here. I had this a mole here since birth, um, but I did notice that it would burn differently. Like if I was out in the sun, it had like its own <laughs> like nervous system. Um, and so she was like, mm, doesn't look great. And then she made me turn around. She's like, whoa, that thing on your back. She's like, that doesn't look great. So she knew her limits and she referred me to a specialist or a dermatology clinic um, in Ottawa. It's the Civic Campus Hospital. So um, after a few months, I think when, when things are possibly cancerous, like you get seen kind of quickly or right away because I didn't wait like eight months as because normally the, the wait list for derm is, is around eight, nine months, they say. But if it's for like cancer, I think they, they fast forward you. Like those are the, anyways, you know what I'm trying to say. If it's cancerous, they're going to go, like you're going to get seen quicker. So uh, what happened next? I got my biopsies done. So I got a piece here taken out. I got a piece on my cheek, which you can kind of see. It's like a dent now. Um, I got a biopsy on my back and then I got this. This is healing. This is now about almost two months now. It takes a long time to heal. So um, the results came in. So my protocol from the doctor was after four weeks, you call and you kind of get your, your uh, results by the phone. And then if it's negative, you're good. If it's positive, you get referred to plastic surgery. So the plastic surgery clinic called me before I actually got debriefed. And I didn't bother calling and I should have, I should have, but that's hindsight. So I had my appointment and I was like, okay. Then I got my results um, in Canada or in Ottawa. We have my chart. So the hospitals kind of like send you all your test results. And I read through it. I read surface melanoma for this first lesion. And I was like, okay, well, they got it out. And thinking like a biopsy is the same as a removal. It's not that detail is going to be important for later. Um, confirmed this was a basal cell carcinoma. This was just a scar on my face, now a bigger scar. And this um, came back with like, it's a mole, but it's, there's a big word for it, something nevis. If I find it later, I'll, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, but essentially it's a mole that like doesn't look good. They put some dye in it and like 50% of it turned. So they're like, just take it out. That was the recommendation in the test result. Okay, so I have my appointment. This is the Friday um, before Thanksgiving, and I'm kind of nervous for it. I don't really know what to expect. I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to get this one fully removed because that's what I read in the report. Um, and in hindsight, like, that's what's kind of, um, that's the downside of being able to see your test results. Like, you really need to call. So that's kind of, like, 
my lesson learn here. Um, okay, so I go in and I tell the doctor, I'm like, he was so nice, by the way. Um, I was like, you know, I kind of don't really know what I'm expecting. I don't know what's going on. I didn't call to get my debrief because I had this appointment. And essentially he goes through all my results and tells me, he's like, you had, you have stage one cancer, like melanoma on your back. And I was like, I'm trying to hold it together. And I'm like, and like the tears are coming down my face. Um, and yeah, I guess I was, I was shocked. And he's like, okay, so today's appointment is going to be significant. So we'll just work on that one. And then we can do your face and your arm another time. Cause you know, I think we were going to do all three, but no, like your girl got a freaking surgery on her back and I was awake for the whole thing. Um, they use local anesthetic and the reason why it's that shape. Okay. Let me show you guys, um, the drawing and like the, before he, he did the surgery. Okay. This is the map. I feel like I've explained this so many times. This was the biopsy line. Okay. That, so the mole was that big. It had like quadrupled in size, like in just a year. So this is about one centimeter. They have to cut out a whole chunk of skin one centimeter away from the actual lesion. Then what they do is they cut this, they cut that, they bring this piece together. That's why this is my tennis racket. So I have a line here and this triangle is pushed all the way up to close this hole. So everything is tight, tight. My back is tight. So now I'm 10 days post-op. Um, can't lift my arm more than that. It's definitely fixed my posture. That's what I'm, um, that's what I'm blessed with. Like fix my posture. I, I like to wear things with pockets so I can just like rest my arm. Um, and yeah, I haven't, I can sleep well, thankfully. Uh, this, the staple, I have 28 staples and they come out on uh, next Friday. But I gotta say, love the staples. They hold everything together. Tight, cinched. Um, can't really wear a bra, so I've been just trying to, Today I'm wearing the tightest tank top I ever have worn in a long time. It's actually not covering up my bandage. Because um, it's... Uh, anyways, I won't take... Should I take that one? How is this back here? Anyway. It's more like I can wear racer back. Um, can't really do my hair. I did a low pony, but I noticed that there's a small part of my um, scar that's like a little bit like kind of bloody, like maybe it teared. So I'm, I'm going to really just keep it chill. Um, and then on November 1st, I go back for another appointment and um, we're going to address my eye my arm and then more healing after that and then i think this is just the beginning of my journey guys i have a lot of different spots all over my my body that i'm now like high radar uh, a lot of dark spots and i think it's called mold mapping but essentially yeah you get checked every year i'd like to get things removed if they look weird i'm like you know just get rid of them i don't want to risk it um and i'm just sharing my journey as an opportunity to maybe help someone out there to look after yourself if it wasn't for my husband actually he kind of noticed it first um then i like brought it up to the doctor as well when she saw it i was like yeah my husband was telling me there's a, a, a mole there so if you're moly if you're freckly if you love sun tanning i mean i was a sun kid sun adult those things are going to change that's another chapter that's like the next part of my journey is like changing my habits sunscreen covering up all that bit so uh, I, we're almost at like the 10 mark, 10 minute mark and, and i know this is like a lot to digest i'm doing fine i sleep well i'm on my recovery journey had to pause my workouts that's actually what is bothering me the most right now just not being able to move because i really fell in love with um my workout routine and uh we're gonna do some adjustments i'm gonna do like more lower body but all the training that i did before is helping me with my healing journey so trying to eat healthy, take my vitamins and doing all the things. So I'm sure you guys are going to have questions. I'll probably do more videos, but I just want to give you guys an update as to what the heck is going on, why my energy is so low and why I'm so damn stiff in all my videos. <laughs> Bye guys. Thanks for watching.